the regression equation y is equal to a plus bx. Interpreting the constants a and b within the context of the problem. Let's assume that on the horizontal axis here you have the number of customers seated in a restaurant. And on the vertical axis here we have the time taken to be served. So you walk into a restaurant and the number of customers who are already seated is on the x-axis and the time it takes after you sit down for you to be served is on the y-axis. So obviously when the restaurant's empty the time taken to be served will be lower and as the restaurant fills up the time taken to be served increases. Let's say this is the regression line. The equation of the regression line is y is equal to a plus bx. b is the gradient okay so that's the gradient and the a value is the y intercept so that's a right there. So in this case a is the time taken to be served when the number of customers seated is zero. Okay, so A is equal to time taken when no other customer in restaurant. B is the gradient. So B is the increase in time taken per additional customer seated. Okay, so B equals increase in waiting time per seated customer. In this example we'll have a look at the tyre pressure inside a car's uh, tyre um, that was checked at a specific point. The air pressure was raised to a particular value so along the vertical axis we have the tyre pressure and along the horizontal axis we have time, let's say that's in uh, months and what you'll find is with time the tyre pressure will decrease. So as before the regression equation y is equal to a plus bx B is the gradient, A is the y-intercept, so that's the value A right here. So what's the significance of the value A in this context? Now A is equal to the initial tyre pressure. And then B, which represents the gradient of the graph. Because the gradient's negative, the tyre pressure is decreasing. So that's the decrease in tyre pressure per month. Now typical exam questions will always ask you to work out the values of A and B. You can get those from uh, your calculator typically and then do some uh, interpretation of what those values mean. So interpret within the context. 
So if you were just to say that A is the y-intercept and B is the gradient, um, that's not good enough. You need to give an interpretation of A and B within the context of the problem set.